Have you ever looked at a brick wall and wondered why the bricks are never stacked in straight columns, one on top of the other? Instead, they're always arranged in a staggered pattern where each brick overlaps the one below it. At first glance, it might seem like just an aesthetic choice, a traditional way of doing things. But in reality, this pattern is essential for making walls stronger, more stable, and better at distributing weight. The way bricks are laid has a huge impact on the durability of buildings, and it all comes down to simple yet effective principles of engineering. So let's take a deep dive into why bricks are laid this way and what would happen if we decided to do it differently, right here on History of Simple Things. The staggered pattern, often called a running bond or stretcher bond, has been used for centuries because it makes structures much stronger. When bricks are laid in straight vertical columns, there's a major flaw in the design. Every joint between bricks aligns from top to bottom. This creates continuous, weak vertical seams that run through the entire wall. If enough pressure is applied, or if the structure faces shifting forces, the wall is far more likely to crack and collapse along these lines. Think of it like stacking toy blocks directly on top of one another. If you push from the side, the entire column can easily topple. A staggered pattern, on the other hand, breaks up these seams and spreads the forces acting on the wall, making it far more resilient to pressure and movement. Another major reason for the staggered pattern is how it helps distribute weight more evenly. When bricks are laid in an offset arrangement, the load from each brick is transferred across multiple bricks below it rather than just one. This spreads the pressure throughout the wall, preventing weak spots and ensuring that the weight is not concentrated in a single area. A straight-line brick pattern would mean that each brick is only supported by the brick directly beneath it, increasing the chances of stress fractures or failure under heavy loads. With a staggered pattern, the weight distribution is much more effective, which is why this method has been the go-to approach for millennia. Mortar, the cement-like substance that holds bricks together, is another key reason why the staggered pattern works so well. Mortar joints are naturally weaker than the bricks themselves, so if they all align in a straight column, they form a natural fault line in the wall. By staggering the bricks, the mortar joints are interlocked, making the entire structure significantly more resistant to cracks and shifting. Even if the wall experiences external pressures, such as temperature changes or ground movement, the staggered pattern prevents cracks from traveling in a straight line, reducing the risk of structural failure. This is why old brick buildings often remain standing for centuries, even when exposed to harsh environmental conditions. Beyond stability, the staggered pattern also improves resistance to lateral forces, such as wind, earthquakes, and even vibrations from passing traffic. A properly laid brick wall can withstand horizontal pressure much better than a straight columned arrangement. Think about how arches distribute force. Curved structures have survived for thousands of years because they efficiently redirect weight. In a similar way, a staggered brick wall redistributes external forces so that no single area takes the full impact. This is especially important in places prone to earthquakes or high winds where walls need to be as stable as possible to prevent structural failure. Historically, different civilizations have come up with variations of staggered brick patterns to maximize strength and longevity. The Romans, for instance, developed advanced bricklaying techniques that allowed their structures to endure for millennia. Many of their walls, aqueducts, and buildings still stand today, 
all thanks to the clever use of staggered brickwork. The same principle applies to modern construction. Whether it's a simple brick fence or a massive skyscraper, staggered brick arrangements remain an essential part of building design. Even with advancements in construction materials like steel and reinforced concrete, bricks are still used extensively in architecture because of their reliability and aesthetic appeal. Now let's imagine for a moment what would happen if we ignored all these principles and stack bricks in perfect vertical alignment. First, the wall would be structurally weak from the start, relying entirely on the mortar to keep everything in place. Over time, as the mortar deteriorates due to weathering or minor shifts in the ground, the aligned joints would act like perforations in a sheet of paper, making it much easier for cracks to form and spread. In extreme cases, even a small disturbance could lead to a cascading collapse, with entire sections of the wall falling apart. That's why professional builders and masons never use a straight-line pattern for load-bearing structures. While aesthetics do play a role, since staggered patterns are visually appealing, the main reason behind this practice is pure engineering. The next time you walk by a brick building, take a moment to appreciate the clever simplicity of this design. That neat, repeating pattern isn't just for show. It's an ancient yet highly effective technique that ensures walls remain standing strong for decades, even centuries. Whether it's a medieval castle, a cozy suburban home, or a modern office building, the staggered brick pattern continues to be one of the most reliable and time-tested construction methods we have. So, as you pass by a brick wall, you'll know that behind that simple pattern lies centuries of knowledge, trial and error, and a deep understanding of physics and materials. And who knows? Maybe you'll impress your friends with your newfound bricklaying wisdom. After all, the best designs are often the ones that seem the simplest, until you realize just how much thought went into them. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.